Have you ever wondered what deferred adjudication is? Have you even heard the term? Do you know that you can defer a traffic ticket in Texas? And basically that means they take it off your record. Well, today that's what we're talking about and we are starting right now. Welcome back y'all. Hi, I'm Debbie Dobbins, real estate entrepreneur here in Wichita Falls, and this is another episode of Your Wichita Falls. On this channel, we talk about how to live your best life in Wichita Falls, Texas. And as you can tell, it's Christmas in the falls. What a great present you could give yourself if you deferred your tickets. So if you wanna know more about all things Wichita Falls, please subscribe to our channel right now click the little button below and the bell will ring. So just a little story. When I first moved to Wichita Falls, I was a speed demon. I'm from California, we speed like crazy. I was driving a lot back then and I was driving back and forth from Wichita Falls to Dallas probably three to four times a week. Well, I got my first ticket before I started all of that. And when I went to a local court to plead out, there was a prosecuting attorney yes they have those here in smaller jurisdictions prosecuting attorneys for traffic tickets and they asked me if i wanted to defer i had no idea what that was and so i said what is that and he explained if you defer your traffic ticket and you don't get another moving violation for 60 days the offense will come off of your record what i said no traffic school just mind my P's and Q's for 60 days and shabam, voila, ticket gone? Yes, ma'am, he said, because they like to say ma'am here. Yes, ma'am, very polite. I said, sign me up. And what I found was that deferred adjudication is one of the most common methods of resolving a traffic ticket in Texas. Who knew? And it's just as simple as my example. With a little agreement with the court, you agree to plead guilty now there's a point here I'm going to talk to you about later. You agree to plead guilty or no contest to speeding, running a stop line, red light, whatever you got stopped for, what you have your ticket for. And in exchange, the court agrees to defer its finding of guilt for a period of time to allow you to complete certain terms which are set by the court. Well, those terms are basically that you don't get another moving violation. So if you complete the terms that are set by the court, they are going to dismiss that case against you. If you fail to comply with the terms, in other words, you go out and get another ticket, the court will enter your plea of guilty or no contest and then find you guilty. And the case will go on your record as a conviction. The crazy part is, is that each county has a different criteria for how long your deferment is. So it's not statewide. So perhaps you might need to mind your P's and Q's for 60 days in one court or county and six months in another. So the most common terms of the deferred adjudication are really require a fee that you receive no new citations and maybe some other terms depending on your violation, which if you're running a red light or speeding, that's it. Then you pay your fee on time, you receive no new citations and you complete the other terms and voila, shabam, waza, your case will be dismissed. However, if you get another ticket leaving the courthouse parking lot, or if you don't pay your fine or some other thing the court has asked you to do, your case will go on your record as a conviction. So that's a big downside. You have to be willing to mind your P's and Q's. The benefits are that you don't have it on your insurance, you don't have to go to the dreaded traffic school, and it comes off of your record. If you don't follow the terms of the deferred agreement, the deferred adjudication, it will go straight back onto your record. Those are your pros and cons. Unfortunately, if you are cited and it wasn't your fault, this could have more complications for your deferred. So pro tip, just drive within the law and you should be good to go. Now, I am not an attorney, nor do I play one on this channel. So all of this information that I gave to you, you can find it on the internet, you can Google it. If you have specific questions, I recommend you get an attorney if you're confused. I have personally had every ticket I've ever received in this lovely state of Texas 
deferred. I find it a much easier way to keep my driving record pristine and never have to set foot in that <gasps> dreaded driving school or even online or through a video. As always, if you have more questions about deferred, please consult an attorney. If you want to know more about Wichita Falls, our lifestyle, events, interviews, real estate, just please subscribe to the channel below and I cannot wait to see you again. So y'all come back now, you hear?